We're Jake and Emily, the two roaming souls, and this week we're visiting Avalanche Ranch, a hot springs resort in Colorado. This was a much needed trip in a winter where we've been mostly stationary. We rented the cutest little wagon that's nearly the same size as our camper van. Join us as we share what it's like relaxing in the hot springs while taking in the mountain views. After the work week, we packed up all of our things and hit the road. One thing we love about the Colorado mountains is how scenic the drives are. Even a drive we've done 50 times is still mesmerizing, especially the massive walls of Glenwood Canyon where no windshield is big enough to take it all in. see Mount Sopris, we know we're getting close because Avalanche Ranch sits right at the base. Sopris is far from the tallest mountain in Colorado at only 13,000 feet, but it's one of the most prominent peaks in the state, standing tall above the surrounding area. And of course, we couldn't visit the area without hitting one of our favorite pizza spots, Propaganda Pie. You may remember we visited here in the fall. Their Detroit style pizza is out of this world. I love when the cheese does that. <laughs> So we just got to Avalanche Ranch and uh, it's very slick, like they said, and a steep hill to get up there. So we kind of almost got to where we need to park, but couldn't make it. So we slowly backed it all the way down. Now I'm gonna put the snow chains on just so we don't embarrass ourselves. Do you love your life? So much. <laughs> Chains are on, we're all checked in. <laughs> Hopefully we make it. <laughs> So we haven't been on a trip in way too long and seriously we've been really missing traveling and our van isn't really equipped for winter like true winter van life in the mountains so we heard about these like little wagons that you can rent at these hot springs at avalanche ranch um, from a co-worker and they said it was a blast so we looked into booking our own and we got a cute little wagon that basically represents the van it's pretty much just yeah, the, so small the layout is about the same as how our, our camper van is so we're having a fun little getaway weekend we're going to show you guys around hit the hot springs 
We're excited. Let's do it. All right, let's go bring some stuff. In. It's just like the van. Really easy to hit your head. Say. <laughs> Good boy. No? Okay. Is it wider than the van? It is. <laughs> you couldn't do that in the van. That's true. <laughs> Luxury living. All right, just got all of our stuff settled into our little wagon. Um, laid down on the bed to test it, and we're like, we gotta get up, because this is gonna turn into an accidental nap. <laughs> it's that time of day in the winter where the sun has gone down, like behind the mountains, but it's like, I don't know, four o'clock or something. We're gonna go hit our first hot spring session, getting our bathing suits. <laughs> Filming at Hot Springs is always a little tricky because we try to be very respectful of the other visitors and we're also not super comfortable filming around other people to begin with. So we do our best to show you the variety of Hot Springs here without interfering with the other people's experience. So apparently this pool is the coldest. It like goes between like 80 and 94. So we're starting here and then we'll work our way up. <laughs> I don't think you want to come to this one after going to 104. <laughs> So this tub is in like a giant whis whiskey barrel. Uh, that was really tough. Nice. The other girl was kind of right. She was like, why am I just sitting in a dark barn when there's like this gorgeous view out here? <laughs> it is some nice privacy though. But and the temperature is really nice. It's good temp, but it probably only fits like maybe four people. And it's you... kind of just a giant bathtub. Yeah. <laughs> Funny. People probably feel like claustrophobic in here, but we're like, woo! <laughs> we can dance in here. <laughs> There's only a charcoal grill here. <laughs> so cooking dinner tonight is gonna be a little cold, but we're prepared. So we're gonna go start the charcoal grill and we're gonna make some sausages, peppers and onions, and broccoli. Yeah. So Jake, and I have like a February that like kind of has sentimental value as in it's Valentine's Day. And it also is our anniversary on the 25th and Jake hates celebrating the specific days. So we thought, hey, we're doing something really special on the 6th so we'd get some wine. But guess what? We forgot a bottle opener, classic. But Emily found this. In the like lodge area. And we're gonna try it out. I mean, it's like- Corkscrew. It's, yeah, that's different. <laughs> 
<laughs> there isn't even like a pull tab on this thing. Okay, so we need a knife too. <laughs> All right, I got this. This is the preferred, this is the preferred fine dining way to open a <laughs> bottle of wine. <laughs> it's like not even a sanitary. Are we sure screw? we don't have one in the van? I just checked. I thought we had like multiple, multiples. We used to in our, like when we lived in a house. <laughs> this is gonna work, I guarantee it. I just need to make sure I get it threaded. Moment of truth. <sighs> Should have worked out. Woo. Oh, we got movement. <laughs> what? <Shows. laughs> oh, no, it's splitting. No. <laughs> okay. There might be a little bit of cork floating around in this bottle of wine. Dang it. I know, I was like I was very there. convinced. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Happy anniversary us. <laughs> And thank you, Avalanche Ranch, for having the corkscrew we needed. <laughs> Dinner is served. The brats and the broccoli, of course, got a little bit burned because we spent five minutes trying to uncork the bottle of wine. <laughs> <laughs> We're a little out of practice when it comes to barbecuing, but I think it's going to taste great. So we came back to the hot springs for... A late night soak and it's very nice great stars are out and right around 10 30 pretty much everyone's gone and we kind of have the hot springs to ourselves yeah we're in like the middle pool where it's like mm, probably like 100 degrees yeah it's very comfortable yeah the hot one's like 104 and you feel like you're about to faint after five minutes i feel like there should be 102 somewhere <laughs> like this one's like a little bit too chilly but then the other one's like too hot so. 102 is perfect what do you guys think yeah let us know but this is our last soak of the night we're gonna go back and uh we'll catch you in the morning we'll probably soak yeah. again and make some <laughs> breakfast yeah. see Bye. ya Sun shining, the mountains are looking beautiful. We're gonna do one last soap before we gotta check out at 11. This was the cute little vacation we needed. <laughs> Yeah, nice little weekend trip. Very relaxing at the hot springs. Yeah, so nice. Wish we had another night, but it's time for us to check out. So thanks for coming along on another Two Roaming Souls adventure. Be sure to subscribe and, and like the video. And we'll catch you on the next one. Bye. See ya.